Hi guys, let's go on a journey together to Nice, France. So we started off our journey in Sydney. From Sydney, we caught a plane to Singapore, where we transferred for another flight to Zurich and then to Nice. You have a number of options to get from the airport to the city centre. Fortunately for us, we had a friend come pick us up. It was about a 15 minutes drive through coastal views of the beach and palm trees. It was a long journey but we finally made it. Our first stop was the Notre Dame Cathedral, followed by a stroll down the main street of the Avenue Jean Médecin. One thing we love to do when we travel is to visit local supermarkets and convenience stores. What are you looking for, Jenny? Just it. We visited Nice during summer, and one thing we really needed to stock up on were some drinks. We love walking when we travel. We believe there is no better way to experience the city than through walking. We eventually reached Place Messina, the main square of Nice. Right in the middle of the square was a huge marble statue of Apollo, the sun god. After a day and a half of travelling and barely any sleep, it was all worth it to be greeted by this view of the amazing Nice Beach. After visiting the beach, we went to explore the old town. We were really excited to visit the Corsalea Market. We were there on a Monday and every Monday they have a flea market there and we love flea markets. For lunch we found this local takeaway shop near Old Town. What's inside this one? This is goat's cheese, um, jamun, which is... Uh, jambon. Jambon, sorry. Which is uh, ham but cured and also some uh, olives and some tomatoes general salad but uh, looking forward to the goat's cheese first thing straight away goat's cheese is really nice and soft and then straight into this salty preserved ham which is really nice and a little bit of olive oil that they put in it makes it go down smooth yeah that's really good my sister and I both ordered the crepes. She got beef and I got chicken. After lunch, we went to grab dessert at one of the most famous gelato places in Nice, Pinocchio. 
So we're here at Nice. One thing you have to do is check out this ice cream place. It has amazing flavors. At the moment, I'm having lavender. Lavender is really nice, actually. And you get that nice lavender fragrance. But then at the bottom, you've got cactus. So if you ever want to eat a cactus, really refreshing. Flavors, did you get any? Hot rose and pina colada. Look at the huge selection of interesting flavors. After all that food, we needed to find a way to work it all off. So we decided to go for a walk. We ended up at the St. Nicholas Orthodox Cathedral, which is the largest Russian Orthodox Cathedral in all of Western Europe. I want to believe we're weightless and float like leaves. Afterwards, we went to the main train station of Nice to catch a train. Monte Carlo. You and I will fly. We're on the train about 10 minutes away. Yeah, we're gonna hit Monte Carlo soon. It's so hot. It feels worse than Sydney. And I was dumb enough to wear pants. And a polo shirt. Tourist 101. Always bring shorts. So say goodbye. We're making our escape. This world's insane. Now run away. From the train station, it was a short downhill walk to Port Hercule. From there, we headed around the corner through streets full of luxury cars to reach the Monte Carlo Casino. Monaco is the second smallest country in the world and it is split into four quarters. After visiting Monte Carlo, we headed over to one of the other quarters, Monacoville, where you can get amazing views like this. The Prince's Palace of Monaco is also located in Monacoville. At 11.55am every day, you can see the changing of the guards. Unfortunately for us, we arrived pretty late in the day, but we still got to catch a glimpse of the changing of the guards in this less elaborate version of the ritual. Mediterranean place that's uh, rated really well with uh, vegan and vegetarian. We have a really good set menus, and you, as you can see here, the selection is really nice. Wine leaves, and we have some uh, hummus with uh, olive oil and a little bit of garnish as well. This is like an eggplant chutney sort of mix. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. I this place was so delicious. My sister ordered a chicken ratatouille, and Fad ordered a vegetarian ratatouille. And then I ordered a vegetarian tagine. Wondering Winnie. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And for more travel inspiration, find me on Instagram and Facebook. See you in the next video.